and I'm going to see if he'll help me widen his base, okay? So I'm going to put a little pressure on the tail and I'm going to push back so he pushes into me. And in a little bit, hi, how are you behind me? How are you behind me? And I'm going to wait for him to widen his base. Hi, how are you? It's nice to see you. Thanks for helping me. So we're still at Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue, and these two horses are both completely blind. They're in quarantine. Um, this one's called Rune, but we're gonna see Yoda today. And quarantine means that once they bring uh, to the farm, they can't just let the horses mingle with the other 140 plus horses, because you have to give it enough time to see if they're bringing in any infection. You don't wanna get the whole herd infected. Um, Yoda, well both of them have a similar situation. They both got here in March approximately and um, they were at auction and it's so stressful for a horse to be in a situation like that where they're uh, put together in small corrals waiting for their fate and imagine if you're totally blind and you don't recognize these horses and you could see if you look at Ruin's eyes uh, here, go as close as and you'll see that's a totally blind horse. Now, in Yoda's case, the one that we're gonna work on, um, Yoda had chronic uve uveitis, and which is treatable, uh, and never had that, you know, less care than was really required. So um, eventually, uh, Yoda, he is totally blind. So uh, again, getting back to the stress of being into that situation where you're the meat men are auction you know uh, bidding on these horses but the other horses are they have no concept who they're bumping into who's nipping at them and they're totally blind and that's very stressful uh, so let's uh, let's go up and you're gonna put the uh, halter on right yep. another thing we have to do is we have to use uh, softer voices and we have to constantly talk so that they can perceive where we are without you know because they don't have you know, a horse, when I'm working on it or anybody's working on a horse, they're always looking around, seeing what you're doing, they're checking you out, uh, and now we don't have that situation here with a blind horse. So come on. Hi, Yoda. Yoda. Hi, Yoda. How are you? This is my first time meeting Yoda, and um, Hi. we're going to just give Yoda a little chance to uh, hear my voice. And what's up? Uh, Yoda is a... A Belgian, okay. So Yoda's a Belgian, beautiful horse. Look how big and muscular he is. And do you know a little bit about his work history? What um, he type of farm he... Horse. he <clears throat> so he was a plow horse. Um, and you could see some of his scarring. Here I am, Yoda, Yoda, Yoda. Yeah, hi. And we could see some scars here. Do you see this? That's from the harnesses and the yoke. Um, little little punctures up here, more scars, and um, what a great looking guy you are. Wow. Thank you for letting me be here with you today. Okay. And I'm going to just do a very gentle checkup on you, okay? And we're just going to be very easy on you. So I'm right here. Here, you can me a little bit so I'm gonna go just let you feel my touch a little bit okay we're gonna take our time and go nice and slow let me get that fly away from your eye and feeling the muscles of the neck you are just one muscular guy you know that yeah I'm right here I'm right here and so his sense of hearing uh, is probably more sharp, don't you think? Oh, yeah. That happens. That happens to all species. If they lose one sense, the others become more keen. And um, 
you can see some of the nicks all over his body, all these little nicks. So he's had a tough life. And it's good that he's here now, right? He's yeah. going to live a nice life here. You know, they love you here so much. Yeah, Let me just feel your pole well. a little bit. Say it again. So Yoda's one of our permanent residents. So yeah, so she was saying Yoda is a permanent resident. Uh, residents, so meaning they're they're not going to adopt Yoda out. They're going to keep uh, Yoda here to live out his life, and hopefully the next part of your life is one of leisure for you, and you can just um, relax and be loved right now. Okay. So I'm going to just start looking at a few things. So here's the pole. The pole feels pretty good. Let me check the spacing between the atlas and the wings of the... It feels a little tight on the left, but let me just keep going because I'll come back to that. I'm looking at his ears. I'm looking at blinking. There's a little spot here up in the withers. I'm going to put some pressure into this side and let, let him lean into me. Thank you. I'm right here. I'm just leaning in on three, four, five, T5, fifth thoracic. Letting him do some of the work for me, which means he'll push into the vertebra if I have a good spot. And it starts to release. Wow, that's a lot of leaning. He's gonna knock me right over. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of a push. Is that okay, Yoda? So I'm gonna push him. You ready, Lauren? Yep. Big breath in. <sighs> Blow it up. Good. Wait till his head comes up. Big breath in. And I'm gonna get this spot for you. Is that okay? And now pushing. Got it really soft. He's doing a lot of the work because he weighs a lot. I mean, this has got to be, he's got to be 1,800 pounds at least. At yeah. least. And um, just giving you a chance to, uh, you know, and I'm looking for areas of stress and um, I'm just going to feel the neck now. The neck feels a lot better. Okay. Let me feel the chest. He's a little, little, look at the, the rear end. He's a little cow hocked in the back, a little narrow. So we might, for a little spot here. Hi there, boo. Hi there. And um, we're gonna just check back here. Look, his, his lips are going out. Do you see that? So go close on that. So we did some nice stuff already. And I'm going to see if I can do a little bit. You know what I might do? I might do a lateral stretch with him. He's got some big tail. So I'm going to take his tail. And I'm going to see if he'll help me widen his base, OK? So I'm going to put a little pressure on the tail. And I'm going to push back so he pushes into me. And in a little bit, hi, how are you behind me? How are you behind me? And I'm pushing at his hip. And he'll, he'll step back if I, we're playing a weight game. We're doing a little dance. And hi, how are you? Are you with me? You gonna help me? Okay. And I'm gonna wait for him to widen his base. Hi, how are you? It's nice to see you. Thanks for helping me. Okay, you can move in really close and see this now. Okay, move in really close. All right, here I am. I'm right here. Come back to my shoulder. There you go. Thank you. All right, you're breathing on me. Oh, <laughs> you just gave me goosebumps. You breathed in my brain. My whole brain got breathed on. All right. So I'm doing some work here. I'm pushing into that hip. I don't know if you guys could see that. I have another horse breathing on my neck and back. And there we go. Nice walk. But look, 
the base widens up. Do you see that? Do you see how the base is wider here? And we're going to do a little more, okay? So I'm pulling and pushing, and we're doing a sway, swaying back and forth. And I'm just asking him to widen up a little bit. And I have to be patient. This is all going to take time. Who wants attention behind me? Is there somebody that wants attention? Can you just wait for your turn? Are you guys seeing this behind me? Okay, this is wonderful. But you know, we got this base to open up already and in a second he'll step. There you go. And see what happens now when he takes his next step. Come on. Much wider, but let's wait till he squares up. Come forward. Come on. Come on. All right. One more. Let's do one more step. All right, but already wider. Do you guys see that? Because before he's really cow hocked and his feet are in like this. And that's a process. It's not like I'm curing anything in a day, so I'm not pretending I'm curing anything in a day. It's just, it's a process. So if you start to see, you know, tightening this way, well, let's at least in this one therapy session to open it up. Let's feel that open. Now, right now, come around and look at this, okay? So right now I'm down the ribs. Here's the last ribs. And then my thumb lands on this muscle knot. And this rectus abdominis muscle is twitching and tight. I'm gonna lean on him so he feels me and he feels me so he knows where I am. I'm holding this reflex point. I'm feeling the rectus abdominis twitching with stress. And I'm giving him permission to just start to relax this back end. Now here's the breath. Here's a big breath coming up. Not my breath, his breath. Look how wide the base is, everyone. Okay? He's choosing that base now. Okay, so this is a more relaxed base. When you weigh 1,800 to 2,000 pounds, um, it's better to be on a wide base than a narrow base. Don't you agree? Everybody watching, even if you don't know anything about horses, don't you think that makes sense? So I'm holding this and I'm watching his breath. A horse breathes 18 to, depends which textbook you look at, but 18 to 14 breaths per minute. That means... 14 times a minute. The average is probably 12 to 14. And he was a little faster than that when we began. He was more at like 18 breaths per minute. And now I'm getting him to slow down. I'm going to release this in a second and we'll go back to his face. Let's go to his face a second. I'm coming up here with you, Yoda. Okay, I'm going to put my head against you. And I release the pressure point and I'm right here, babe. Okay. Okay, and we're just going to let you be there for a minute and see if you like that last little move we did. Okay, you're doing so great. Thinking about that. Now look at the base he's choosing in the back. We, those, those, those hoofs were touching when we started. Even now he just moved. Look, he's in a nice balanced base. And we did that without beating them up. We didn't have to maul them. We didn't have to smack them around to do it. It was just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything on the other side. So that feels nice. Okay, I'm going to go behind this elbow now, okay? Behind this elbow right here, I'm going to give a little space here too. So I'm pushing in like this behind the elbow, asking him to help me asking him to move his weight like that. My fingertips on a muscle knot. My other hand is guiding along the ribs. And we're doing a little dance of relaxation. And now I'm going to let it go. Whew. And just let him open up. Now open up. Now I'm going to come down the back now and feeling the, the vertebras um, 
seven cervicals, 18, and six lumbars. I'm gonna push this reflex here and look for the reflex. I'm not sure where it is till I get on it. Okay. Here's one right here. I'm gonna just hold this. And this one agitated him a little bit because it's tender. And I'm gonna, again, let him, he, da he dances so well with me, so I'm gonna let him sway. Maybe come around the back if you can. I wanna show you something, okay? So I'm gonna hold this. I gotta watch my feet, but I'm gonna sway him a little bit with my own body weight. Oh, I'm covering up the microphone. All right, so I'm holding this reflex on top and I'm gonna do this little dance Finding his rhythm. Good. And let it go again. Holding this reflex up at her, his um, lumbar sacral joint where T, uh, L6 is meeting the top of the sacrum. Take a breath in, come in with the close-up now. My hands here, my other hands up on top. I'm listening also, I'm listening to his breathing this way. I know this is not where his lungs are, but I can hear it through his, the drum of his body. And I'm just getting some motion. I don't know if you guys could see that motion in his hips. So again, back up just a little bit so you could see that sway that we're doing. I mean, this is an 1,800-pound horse that is allowing me to work and sway. Now I'm going to feel the glutes and coming down to the hamstrings now. And this hamstring is a little tight, so I'm going to come in here and hold this spot and wait till he steps. He's going to step through in a second when he's done with it. There it goes. And then that relaxes. Look how that relaxed. Can you guys see that? That's nice. It was really taut. So that's all relaxed. He did the work. I didn't do anything. So now let's check this side and hear it again. It's so tight right there. Now he just dropped his hip into my hand. It's me, babe. I'm going to come up and just let him feel me again because I haven't been up here in a while. Hey, Yoda, how are you? I'm coming all the way down. I'm gonna find that tight hamstring again. Get my body weight on him. So he knows where I am. And that one's tender, he's stepping away. But watch, I'm gonna hold that spot. I gotta get the right spot. And I'm gonna wait till he steps. And he's gonna step in just a second. One. There we go. Good. And then let's feel it. Watch. Then it goes soft. That's it. That's nice and relaxed. When we're not using a muscle, we need it to relax. Good. And how's your quads feel? And how's this side feel? All right. So I'm up under the rectus abdominis, the iliopsoas, the iliacus. Feeling good. Coming feeling the ribs, I like this, I like your shoulder. Let's do a little pec stuff in the front. See how narrow is his front base is? So we're a little base narrow up here. Okay, I'm not making funny, I'm just trying to help you, okay? All right, it's just me. So I'm gonna come through the pec here. I'm also gonna reach behind the elbow, leaning in, giving him my weight, asking him to step, bring weight off of that foot, and help me widen the space. There you go, take a breath. Can I have that leg? Can I have this leg? Can I have this leg? I'm not gonna take his leg, I'm gonna ask him to give it to me. One more. All right, I'm giving him a little weight. There you go. And now I'm going to adduct it out a little bit. 
There we go, just for a second. And I'm gonna let you put it down now. Nice and soft. Let's square them up again and see the distance of the, of the front end, okay? The narrow, the, see if it's less narrow. Come on, take a step up, babe. Come on, a little step up. Good. There we go. He's trying to widen it up. Look at that. All right. I do want to look at the other side, and then we'll finish there. Okay. Here I am on this side now. Do you feel me? But look how look how wide are the bases already. Okay. That's the base he's choosing. I just want to feel this peck. Can I have this leg? Good, thank you. And I'm gonna just do a little bit of a abduction, just enough to get a stretch to open up the base. I'm holding and holding and waiting for him to release. We're trying to put it down now. We're widening up the base. We're opening this section and here I did, um, I did, so what I did, hi everyone, is I'm bringing the limb out, opening up this pack area and giving it space in here. And now I'm going to, look how wide the base is now. I'm still in that pack muscle. He's moving around a little bit, but do you see he keeps choosing a little bit wider stance when he comes to rest. I'm on a really tight muscle in the pec. I'm gonna combine that now with body weight, weighing into him until he pushes against me. There's the push and there's the widening. Look again, come straight on from the front if you can, and we're getting a nice wider base. One more time, push. Push and let him push back against me. Good. He's moving like he's moving lateral and then hopefully stops here. Let's bring him this way now. Come on. Come on. Keep walking. Let's go. Ready? Come on. Yeah. Okay, good. So it's a process. I opened up the pack on both sides. I did a little um, abduction, AB, ad abduction on both sides. I'm gonna come back up and connect with him one more time and we'll finish up. Almost looks like we should adjust the other horse too. Okay, thank you for letting me work with you. I hope you have a great life here. Everybody leave a comment for Yoda. And Yoda is 100% blind. So I think we're done with Yoda today. Thank you, Yoda, so much. And I'm gonna wait for him to widen his face.